eBay Inc. E -eBay is an American multinational e-commerce corporation based in San Jose, California that facilitates consumer-to-consumer -consumer and business-to-consumer sales through its website. eBay was founded by Pierre Omidyar in the autumn of 1995, and became a notable success story of the dot-com bubble eBay is a multi-billion dollar business with operations in about 30 countries, as of 2011. The company manages the eBay website, an online auction and shopping website in which people and businesses buy and sell a wide variety of goods and services worldwide. The website is free to use for buyers, but sellers are charged fees for listing items after a limited number of free listings, and again when those items are sold. In addition to eBay's original auction style sales, the website has evolved and expanded to include instant buy it now shopping, shopping by universal product code, ISBN, or other kind of SKU number via half.com, which was shut down in 2017, online classified advertisements via Kijiji, or eBay classifieds, online event ticket trading via StubHub, and other services eBay previously offered online money transfers as part of its services via PayPal, which was a wholly owned subsidiary of eBay from 2002 to 2015. Topic History Topic Nineteen Nineties The auction web was founded in California on September 3, 1995, by French-born Iranian-American computer programmer Pierre Omidyar as part of a larger personal site. One of the first items sold on AuctionWeb was a broken laser pointer for $14.83. Astonished, Omidyar contacted the winning bidder to ask if he understood that the laser pointer was broken. In his responding email, the buyer explained, I'm a collector of broken laser pointers. It soon became the first online auction site allowing person-to-person -person transactions, which led to a mass volume of online transactions. Reportedly, eBay was simply a side hobby for Omidyar until his internet service provider informed him he would need to upgrade to a business account due to the high volume of traffic to his website. The resulting price increase from $30 per month to $250 prompted him to start charging those who used eBay, which was not met with any animosity. It did result in the hiring of Chris Agarpau as eBay's first additional employee to process mail checks coming in for fees. Jeffrey Skoll was hired as the first new president of the company in early 1996. In November 1996, eBay entered into its first third-party licensing deal, with a company called Electronic Travel Auction, to use smart market technology to sell plane tickets and other travel products. Growth was phenomenal. In January 1997, the site hosted 2 million auctions, compared with 250,000 during the whole of 1996. The company officially changed the name of its service from AuctionWeb to eBay in September 1997. Originally, the site belonged to Echo Bay Technology Group, a media's consulting firm. Omidyar had tried to register the domain name EchoBay.com, but found it already taken by the Echo Bay Mines, a gold mining company, so he shortened it to his second choice, eBay.com. In 1997 the company received $6.7 million in funding from the venture capital firm Benchmark Capital. Meg Whitman was hired by the board as eBay president and CEO in March 1998. At the time, the company had 30 employees, half a million users and revenues of $4.7 million in the United States. In 2001, eBay had the largest user base of any e-commerce site. The frequently repeated story that eBay was founded to help Amidia's fiance trade Pez candy dispensers was fabricated by a public relations manager, Mary Lou Song, in 1997 to interest the media, which were not interested in the company's previous explanation about wanting to create a perfect market. This was revealed in Adam Cohen's book, The Perfect Store, 2002, and confirmed by eBay. After eBay went public, both Omidyar and Skoll became instant billionaires. 
eBay's target share price of $18 was all but ignored as the price went to $53.50 on the first day of trading. The Pez dispenser myth generated enormous amounts of publicity and led to some of eBay's most explosive early growth among toy collectors. However, at the time, Beanie Babies manufactured by Thai, Inc. were the leader in the toy category and the most difficult brand to find in retail stores. Beanie Babies quickly became the dominant product on eBay, accounting for 10% of all eBay listings in 1997. While eBay was still a privately held company, two major factors contributed to its growing market share. The growing collectability of Beanie Babies in the mid-1990s, collectors internationally were trying to complete their collection of Beanie Babies. Thai producing the first business to consumer website. The original Thai website contained an online trading post where people could trade their Beanie Babies, however, the trading post was overwhelmed with unsortable listings, creating a legitimate demand for a more efficient online system to buy and trade Beanie Babies in the secondary market. As a result, eBay provided a user friendly interface to search for specific Beanie Babies that collectors were searching for. On September 21, 1998, eBay went public. In the risk factors section of the annual report filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in 1998, Omidyar notes eBay's dependence on the continued strength of the Beanie Babies market. Topic: 2000s. As the company expanded product categories beyond collectibles into almost any saleable item, business grew quickly. In 2000, eBay had 12 million registered users and a cyber inventory of more than 4.5 million items on sale on any given day. In February 2002 the company purchased Ibazar, a similar European auction website founded in 1998, and then bought PayPal on October 3, 2002. By early 2008 the company had expanded worldwide, counting hundreds of millions of registered users as well as 15,000 employees and revenues of almost $7.7 billion. After nearly 10 years at eBay, Whitman decided to enter politics. On January 23, 2008, the company announced that Whitman would step down on March 31, 2008, and John Donahoe was selected to become president and CEO. Whitman remained on the board of directors and continued to advise Donahoe through 2008. In late 2009 eBay completed the sale of Skype for $2.75 billion, but still owned 30% equity in the company. Topic 2010s. In 2012, eBay was charged by the United States Department of Justice with entering into non-solicitation agreements with other technology companies involving their highly skilled employees. On September 30, 2014, eBay announced it would spin off PayPal into a separate publicly traded company, a demand made nine months prior by activist hedge fund magnate Carl Icahn. The spin-off completed on July 18, 2015. eBay's then chief executive, John Donahoe, stepped down from that role. Flipkart and eBay entered into a strategic partnership in 2017 under which eBay Inc. acquired a 5.44% stake in Flipkart in exchange for its eBay India business for $211 MN and a $514 MN cash investment. As part of the partnership, Flipkart decided to use the eBay's platform for global outsourcing. On January 31, 2018, eBay announced that they would replace PayPal as its primary payments provider with Netherlands based startup Adyen. The transition was set to be completed by 2021, but PayPal would remain an acceptable payment option on the site until further notice. On the 25th of September 2019, it was announced that Devon Wenig would be stepping down as eBay's CEO, and that Scott Schenkel, senior vice president and chief financial officer since 2015, had been appointed as the interim CEO. Topic: Corporate Affairs. Topic: 
Topic: Board of Directors. As of November 2014, the board of directors was as follows: Thomas J. Tierney, co-founder of the Bridgespan Group, chairman of eBay since March 2003; Devon Wenig, president and CEO since 2015; Fred D. Anderson, former managing director of Elevation Partners, director of eBay since July 2003. Edward W., former president and CEO of Agilent Technologies, director of eBay since April 2005 Scott Cook, founder of Intuit, director of eBay since June 1998 John Donahoe, eBay's former president and CEO since March 2008, former director of eBay since January 2008 David Dorman, non-executive chairman of Motorola, director of eBay since June 2014 William Clay Ford Jr., executive chairman of Ford Motor Company, director of eBay since July 2005 Kathleen C. Mittick, founder and CEO of Sitch Inc., director of eBay since September 2011 David M. Moffat, former CEO of Freddie Mac, director of eBay since July 2007 Pierre Omidyar, director since 1996 and chairman of eBay from May 1996 to May 2015 Richard T. Schlossberg, former president and CEO of the David and Lucille Packard Foundation, director of eBay since March 2004 Vincent C. Bruno founder of Incorporating National Companies INC Private Sector and creator of the mobile Internet application for Android 2009 Google application for mobile 2011 Topic <inaudible> Logo <inaudible> In September 2012 eBay introduced a new logo set in the Universe typeface but using a thinner variation of it installed on the website on October 10 2012 it replaced the logo with a thicker variation of Universe which had been used since its establishment in 1995. An all-red, eBay logo with the same type set was also introduced to be used temporarily for various holidays. <laughs> Profit and transactions eBay generates revenue by a complex system of fees for services, listing product features, and a final value fee for sales proceeds by sellers. As of 2019 the US-based eBay.com charges $0.35 cents as an insertion fee for a basic listing without any adornments. The final value fee is 10-12% of the total amount of the sale, which is the price of the item plus shipping charges. Reduced final value fees are available to business registered customers. Other eBay websites follow a similar fee structure, but with different cost charges. Under U.S. law before 2018, a state cannot require sellers located outside the state to collect a sales tax, which made making purchases on eBay more attractive to American buyers. Sellers that operate as a business do follow state tax regulations on eBay transactions. Since 2018, changes to tax law in the United States force eBay and other large marketplaces to collect sales tax on any eBay purchase shipped to certain states. The company's business strategy includes increasing international trade. eBay has already expanded to over two dozen countries, including China and India. Strategic international expansion has failed in Taiwan and Japan, where Yahoo had a head start, and New Zealand, where TradeMe is the dominant online auction website. eBay also notably failed in China due to competition from local rival Taobao. eBay entered the Chinese market in 2002 and shut down its Chinese site in 2007. In India, eBay's operations came to a halt after it sold off its India operations to country's largest e-commerce company Flipkart, in the latter's $1.4 billion fundraise, where eBay was a participant. 
In its Q1 2008 results, total payment volume via PayPal increased 17%, but off the eBay auction site it was up 61%. For most listing categories, eBay sellers are permitted to offer a variety of payment systems such as escrow.com, PayPal, PayMate, Propay, and Skrill. Propay and Skrill were banned effective September 27, 2015, citing low usage. Escrow.com is eBay's approved escrow site. The transactions processed through escrow.com largely are in relation to eBay Motors, however, they are not restricted to this type of listing. eBay runs an affiliate program under the name eBay Partner Network eBay affiliate marketers were originally paid a percentage of the eBay seller's transaction fees, with commissions ranging from 50% to 75% of the fees paid for an item purchased. In October 2009, eBay changed to an affiliate payout system that it calls Quality Click Pricing, in which affiliates are paid an amount determined by an undisclosed algorithm. The total earnings amount is then divided by the number of clicks the affiliate sent to eBay and is reported as earnings per click, or EPC. In October 2013, EPN launched a new pricing model. The new model is more transparent and is based on category-level base commission rates with bonuses available for referring new and reactivated buyers. On April 18, 2012, eBay reported a 29% Q1 revenue increase to $3.3 billion compared to their Q1 in 2011. Net income was reported to be at $570 million for the quarter. For the fiscal year 2017, eBay reported losses of US$1.016 billion, with an annual revenue of US$9.567 billion, an increase of 6.6% over the previous fiscal cycle. eBay's shares traded at over $35 per share, and its market capitalization was valued at over US$27.2 billion in October 2018. Environmental record On May 8, 2008, eBay announced the opening of its newest building on the company's north campus in San Jose, which is the first structure in the city to be built from the ground up to lead gold standards. The building, the first the company had built in its 13-year existence, uses an array of 3,248 solar panels, spanning 60,000 square feet 5,600 square meters, and providing 650 kilowatts of power to eBay's campus. The array can supply 15 to 18% of the company's total energy requirements, reducing the amount of greenhouse gases that would be produced to create that energy by other means. Soler City, the company responsible for designing the array, estimates that the solar panels installed on eBay's campus will prevent 37 million pounds of carbon dioxide from being released into the environment as a result of replaced power production over the next three decades. Creating an equivalent impact to remove the same amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere would require planting 322 acres square kilometers of trees. The design of the building also incorporates other elements to reduce its impact on the environment. The building is equipped with a lighting system that detects natural ambient light sources and automatically dims artificial lighting to save 39% of the power usually required to light an office building. eBay's newest building also reduces demand on local water supplies by incorporating an eco-friendly irrigation system, and low-flow shower heads and faucets. Even during construction, more than 75% of the waste from construction was recycled. eBay also runs buses between San Francisco and the San Jose campus to reduce the number of commuting vehicles. In 2014, eBay and several other Oregon businesses signed the Oregon Business Climate Declaration to promote local job growth and slow carbon pollution. Acquisitions PayPal On October 3, 2002, PayPal became a wholly owned subsidiary of eBay. 
Its corporate headquarters were sited in San Jose, California, United States at eBay's North 1st Street Satellite Office Campus. On September 30, 2014, eBay Inc. announced the divestiture of PayPal as an independent company, which was completed on July 20, 2015. Topic. Craigslist In the summer of 2004, eBay acknowledged that it had acquired 25% of classified listings website Craigslist. Former Craigslist executive Philip Knowlton was the seller, and he insisted that his former employer was aware of his plans to divest his holdings. Initially, eBay assured Craigslist that they would not ask the company to change the way it does business. In March 2005, eBay launched the classified service Kijiji. In April 2008, eBay sued Craigslist to safeguard its four-year financial investment, claiming that in January 2008, Craigslist took actions that unfairly diluted eBay's economic interest by more than 10%. Craigslist countersued in May 2008 to remedy the substantial and ongoing harm to fair competition that Craigslist claimed was constituted by eBay's actions as a Craigslist shareholder. In September 2010, Delaware Judge William Chandler ruled that the actions of Craigslist were unlawful and that the actions taken by Craigslist founders Jim Buckmaster and Craig Newmark had breached their fiduciary duty of loyalty and restored eBay's stake in the company to 28.4% from a diluted level of 24.85%. However, the judge dismissed eBay's objection to a staggered board provision, citing that Craigslist has the right to protect its own trade secrets. eBay spokesman Michael Jacobson stated, We are very pleased that the court gave eBay what it sought from the lawsuit. Topic. Skype In October 2005, eBay Inc. acquired Skype Technologies, developer of the Skype VoIP and instant messaging service, significantly expanding its customer base to more than 480 million registered users worldwide eBay later sold a majority stake in Skype in November 2009, while retaining a minority investment in the company. This eventually led to the sale of the entire Skype business to Microsoft for $8.5 billion in May 2011. Topic. StubHub StubHub's acquisition by eBay was announced in January 2007 for a reported $310 million. According to CNN Money, 2007 was a very successful year for the company, handling 5 million individual transactions, more than in the previous six years combined of its history. Staffing at StubHub had increased to 350 workers by the time of the sale. Eight months after the acquisition, StubHub reached an exclusive agreement with Major League Baseball MLB. They get a piece of the 25% in commissions StubHub earns on either end of a sale. Ticketmaster filed a lawsuit against StubHub and eBay in 2007, alleging intentional interference with Ticketmaster's contractual rights. Topic: <laughs> Corrigan In October 2016, eBay acquired Corrigan, a visual search engine, for less than $30 million. Ku10.jp In April 2018, eBay acquired the Japanese division of Ku10, a marketplace driven by Geosys and having the fourth GMV in Japan, for a reported $573 million. With the close of the transaction, eBay also has relinquished its investment in Geosa's non-Japanese businesses. This acquisition expands eBay's footprint in Japan, one of the largest e-commerce markets in the world. eBay made an initial investment in Geosis Private. Limited in 2010.
Since then, Geosis has established dynamic marketplace businesses across Asia. With today's acquisition, eBay will build on Geosis' progress in Japan, enhancing the domestic customer experience and providing approximately 2 million Japanese buyers currently using the Ku10 platform with a well-curated selection of merchandise sourced both locally and from across the globe eBay's Japan business, including Geos's Japan business, will report into Juman Park, senior vice president of eBay's Asia Pacific region. Topic: Use for data analysis. eBay is a publicly visible market which has attracted an interest from economists, who have used it to analyze aspects of buying and selling behavior, auction formats, etc., comparing them with previous theoretical and empirical findings. Computer information systems researchers have also shown interest in eBay. Michael Gould, chairman of the Computer Information Systems Department of the W. P. Carey School of Business at Arizona State University, published an academic case based on eBay's big data management and use in which he discusses how eBay is a data-driven company that processes 50 petabytes of data a day. eBay uses a system that allows different departments in the company to check out data from their data mart into sandboxes for analysis. According to Gould, eBay has already experienced significant business successes through its data analytics. eBay employs 5,000 data analysts to enable data-driven decision-making. Third party In 2006 the accounting software company Intuit launched a web-based donation tracking service called It's Deductible. The service uses data from eBay to help users assign a market value to the items they donate. <laughs> <laughs> Visual search In July 2017 eBay released an image search capability allowing users to find listings on the site that match an item depicted in a photo, using artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. GCHQ UK's GCHQ has a suite of tools for monitoring target use of eBay, named Alate. Topic items Millions of collectibles, decor, appliances, computers, furnishings, equipment, domain names, vehicles, and other miscellaneous items are listed, bought, or sold daily on eBay. In 2006, eBay launched its business and industrial category, breaking into the industrial surplus business. Generally, anything can be auctioned on the site as long as it is not illegal and does not violate the eBay prohibited and restricted items policy. Services and intangibles can be sold, too. Large international companies, such as IBM, sell their newest products and offer services on eBay using competitive auctions and fixed-priced storefronts. Separate eBay sites such as eBay US and eBay UK allow the users to trade using the local currency. Software developers can create applications that integrate with eBay through the eBay API by joining the eBay Developers Program. In June 2005, there were more than 15,000 members in the eBay Developers Program, comprising a broad range of companies creating software applications to support eBay buyers and sellers as well as eBay affiliates. Numerous government and police agencies around the world now use eBay as well as traditional auctions to dispose of seized and confiscated goods. Controversy has arisen over certain items put up for bid. For instance, in late 1999 a man offered one of his kidneys for auction on eBay, attempting to profit from the potentially lucrative and, in the United States, illegal market for transplantable human organs. Beginning in August 2007, eBay required listings in video games and health and beauty to accept its payment system PayPal and sellers could only accept PayPal for payments in the category video games, consoles. 
Starting January 10, 2008, eBay said sellers can only accept PayPal as payment for the categories computing, software, consumer electronics greater than MP3 players, wholesale and job lots, mobile and home phones, and business, office and industrial, industrial supply, MRO eBay announced that starting in March 2008, eBay had added to this requirement that all sellers with fewer than 100 feedbacks must offer PayPal and no merchant account may be used as an alternative. This is in addition to the requirement that all sellers from the United Kingdom have to offer PayPal, further, and as noted below, it was a requirement to offer PayPal on all listings in Australia and the UK. In response to concerns expressed by the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, however, eBay has since removed the policy on the ebay.com.au website requiring sellers to offer PayPal as a payment option. On April 24, 2006, eBay opened its new eBay Express site, which was designed to work like a standard Internet shopping site for consumers with United States addresses. Before it closed in 2008, selected eBay items were mirrored on eBay Express, where buyers used a traditional digital shopping cart to purchase from multiple sellers. The UK version was launched to eBay members in mid-October 2006, but on January 29, 2008, eBay announced its intention to close the site. The German version, eBay Express Germany, was also opened in 2006 and closed in 2008. At the 2008 eBay Developers Conference, eBay announced the Selling Manager Applications Program SM Apps. The program allows approved developers to integrate their applications directly into the eBay.com interface. The applications created by developers are available for subscription by eBay members who also subscribe to Selling Manager eBay maintains a number of specialty sites including the discussion boards, groups, answer center, chat rooms, and reviews and guides. eBay's mobile offerings include SMS alerts, a WAP site, Java ME clients, and mobile applications for Windows Phone, Android OS, and Apple iPhone. The initiative Choice in e-commerce was founded on May 8, 2013, by several online retailers in Berlin, Germany. The cause was, in the view of the initiative, sales bans and online restrictions by individual manufacturers. The dealers felt cut off from their main sales channel and thus deprived them the opportunity to use online platforms like Amazon, eBay, or Rakuten in a competitive market for the benefit of their customers. Topic: <laughs> Unusual items. Many unusual items have been placed for sale on eBay, including at least two previously undiscovered species, including the Coeloplurus exquisitus sea urchin. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Prohibited or restricted items. In its earliest days, eBay was nearly unregulated. However, as the site grew, it became necessary to restrict or prohibit auctions for various items. Note that some of the restrictions relate to eBay.com, the US site, while other restrictions apply to specific European sites such as Nazi paraphernalia. Regional laws and regulations may apply to the seller or the buyer. Generally, if the sale or ownership of an item is regulated or prohibited by one or more states, eBay will not permit its listing. Among the hundred or so banned or restricted categories. Topic: Bidding. Topic: Auction style listings. Bidding on eBay old or new s auction style listing is called proxy bidding and is essentially equivalent to a Vickrey auction sealed bid, with the following exceptions. The winning bidder pays the second highest bid plus one bid increment amount that is, some small predefined amount relative to the bid size, instead of simply the highest bid. However, since the bid increment amounts are relatively insignificant compared to the bid size, they are not considered from a strategic standpoint. 
The highest bidder's bid is sealed, as in a Vickery auction, but the current winning bid second highest plus one increment is displayed throughout the auction to allow price discovery. Because eBay's auction-style listings are sealed bid, it is usually to all bidders' advantage that bids are made only at the very end of the auction except for an initial minimum bid, that cancels out a buy it now option, or prevents the seller from ending the listing early. Early bids will usually not increase the bidder's chance of winning the auction, and will often raise the item's final price winning bid for the eventual winner. eBay also allows sellers to offer a buy it now price that will end the auction immediately. The buy it now price is available until someone bids on the item, or until the reserve price is met. When the buy it now option disappears, the auction style listing proceeds normally. Topic. Seller ratings In 2008, eBay implemented a system of seller ratings with four categories. Buyers are asked to rate the seller in each of these categories with a score of 1 to 5, with 5 being the highest rating. Unlike the overall feedback rating, these ratings are anonymous, neither sellers nor other users learn how individual buyers rated the seller. The listings of sellers with a rating of 4.3 or below in any of the four rating categories appear lower in search results. Power sellers are required to have scores in each category above 4.5. In a reversal of roles, on January 24, 2010, AuctionBytes.com held an open survey in which sellers could rate eBay, as well as competing auction and marketplace sites. In the survey, users were asked to rank 15 sites based on five criteria, profitability, customer service, communication, ease of use, and recommendation. eBay was ranked 13th, after other large sites such as Amazon and Craigslist, as well as lesser-known selling sites such as Atomic Mall, Acrata, and Ruby Lane. In individual category rankings, eBay was rated the worst of all the 15 sites on customer service and communication, and average on ease of use. Some respondents stated they would have given eBay a rating of 10, 3 to 5 years ago. eBay was rated 12th out of 15 in the recommended selling venue category. Topic charity auctions Using MissionFish as an arbiter, eBay allows sellers to donate a portion of their auction proceeds to a charity of the seller's choice. The program is called eBay Giving Works in the US, and eBay for Charity in the UK. eBay provides a partial refund of seller fees for items sold through charity auctions. As of March 4, 2010, $154 million has been raised for U.S. nonprofits by the eBay community since eBay Giving Works began in 2003. Some high profile charity auctions have been advertised on the eBay homepage. As of June 2010, the highest successful bid on a single item for charity was for the annual Power Lunch with investor Warren Buffett at the famous Smith & Wallensky Steakhouse in New York. The winning bid was $2.63 million with all of the proceeds going to the Glide Foundation. The winning bidder was not made public, but was able to bring up to seven friends to the lunch. In 2012, a higher bid, of $3.46 million, also going to the Glide Foundation, won a lunch with Buffet. In 2016 an anonymous bidder won a $3.45 million lunch with Warren Buffett and the money raised from the auction was given to Glide Foundation. The previous highest successful bid on a single item for charity was for a letter sent to Mark P. Mays, CEO of Clear Channel, parent company of Premier Radio Networks the production company that produces the Rush Limbaugh show and Glenn Beck program by Senator Harry Reid and 40 other Democratic senators, complaining about comments made by conservative talk show host Rush Limbaugh. The winning bid was $2,100,100, with all of the proceeds going to the Marine Corps Law Enforcement Foundation, benefiting the education of children of men and women who have died serving in the armed forces. The winning bid was matched by Limbaugh in his largest charity donation to date. In 2007, eBay Canada partnered with Montreal based digital branding agency Cloudraker to develop a campaign to raise money for St. Justine Children's Hospital in Montreal. 
they aligned themselves with Internet phenomenon Tete's A Clax to create an eBay auction based on popular TAC character Uncle Tom, an infomercial host who pitches absurd products. eBay and Cloudraker reproduced Uncle Tom's imaginary products, the body toner fly swatter, the Willy Waller potato peeler, and the LCD shovel and sold them online. In six weeks, they raised $15,000 for Hopital Street Justine with one fly swatter, one potato peeler, and one shovel, a world record. The body toner fly swatter sold for $8,600, the Willy Waller potato peeler sold for $3,550, and the LCD shovel sold for $2,146.21. Topic. Shipping During auction setup, eBay provides shipping method choices to sellers, ordinary mail, express mail, and or courier service. The seller may choose to offer only one shipping method to buyers, or the seller may offer buyers a choice of options. Very low-value items shipped directly from China are sometimes shipped by surface mail C-mail, which is inexpensive but takes one to two months. If the buyer is in a hurry, he or she might be able to pay an extra fee to upgrade to second-class surface air-lifted shipping or to first-class airmail shipping. Since 2012, eBay has been enlisting sellers into its global shipping program. If a seller uses the program, non-domestic buyers pay a fee to Pitney Bowes. The seller sends the item to a Pitney Bowes facility in the US or UK, which then forwards it to the buyer, taking care of all international shipping requirements. The program is claimed to enhance the product selection available to international buyers. Topic Controversy and criticism Common eBay criticisms involve the policy of requiring the use of PayPal for payments and concerns over fraud, forgeries and intellectual property violations in auction items. There are also issues of how negative feedback after an auction can offset the benefits of using eBay as a trading platform eBay has been criticized for not paying UK taxes. The Sunday Times reported in October 2012 that eBay paid only 1.2 million pounds in tax on sales of over 800 million pounds. Topic: 2014 security breach. On May 21, 2014, the company revealed that the consumer database of usernames, passwords, phone numbers, and physical addresses had been breached between late February and early March. Users were advised to change their passwords. To expedite this, a change password feature was added to profiles of users who had not yet done so. The Syrian Electronic Army took responsibility for the attack. The C said that even though the hack revealed millions of users' banking details to them, they would not misuse the data. They had replaced the front pages of the websites with their own logo, called defacing, in technical terms. The hack caused eBay's share price to crash in intraday trade as a result of the breach of security. Topic. See also. Alibaba Group, Chinese e-commerce company eBay v. Bidder's Edge Tiffany Inc. v. eBay Inc. Shopping Neutral